Lovely ladies and gents, uh, welcome to AFL and Nutritech's home training series. We're on day 13. Yesterday was um, a longer day with monostructural mates body conditioning. And today we're going to hit a couplet. And um, it's actually a benchmark workout. We're not going to do the true benchmark workout today, but it's going to be very similar. And this is what we're doing. For the standard, we're doing an easier frame. We're going to complete 2159 of the following for time, thrusters. It's the first time we're doing thrusters, but we're going to build on the drills we did in, on day 11. So go review day 11 if you haven't gone there. Remember, you should be doing this in sequence, starting at day 1. It's coupled with pull-ups. So you do 21 thrusters, 21 pull-ups. 15, 15, 9, 9. If you can't do pull-ups, if you've got no um, alternatives, which I'm going to show you, you're going to do barbell facing burpees today. Okay. Score is, sorry, it's supposed to be time here. It's a typo, time. Okay, and then I'll put a time cap in of most will be 12 minutes. And then, just to note, the actual weight for friends, 43 and 29 for the benchmark workout, and it's 30 and 20 kgs over here. Slightly easier, Fran. The burpees, if you do burpees, you need two for takeoff. Any landing, but two for takeoff, you can get to the ground any manner or form. On our scaled Fran for this home series, we're doing 21.59 thrusters, 20 and 12, salata and jumping pull-ups, where the bar will be set or the grip will be set at mid forearm height and barbell facing burpees. You can step over on these burpees. Note that. Okay, so let's talk about this awesome workout. Okay, so this workout is really well known. Um, obviously, athletes that are doing it for CrossFit would be a sort of staple benchmark type workout they'd regularly do. It's uh, great because it's got complementary movements. Um, so you're using thrusters, okay, which is mostly a lower body drive. Yes, you've got pressing, but your arms are not going to get that tired from that. It's a lightish weight, coupled with pull-ups which can be kipping pull-ups, and um, so you're doing a lower body, I mean an upper body pull, a lower body mostly push, so you can hit them pretty quickly from one, one round to the next, um, and it gets your, your cardiovascularly breathing a lot, your breathing rate goes up, your engine takes a lot of strain. Similarly so with the burpees, the burpees are going to be a little bit more taxing cardiovascularly, maybe, especially if you're doing strict pull-ups, and um, they, um, your legs should get a bit of rest because it's a full body movement, but um, they're going to make you breathe. Okay, so um, on this workout, um, to start, don't hit the 21s at absolute flat out pace. Take them at a comfortable pace, go slower than you think, and then you can adjust on the 15s. When you're into about through the first set of thrusters, you can then speed up or slow down as needed, but it'll be better to speed up as you go into the last round of 15s on the pull-ups and into the mines for both movements. Rather speed up than have to slow down and hang on and grit your teeth. Okay. So equipment wise for the thrusters we're going to use any implement that you can. Obviously we're at home so if you've got a bar that's great you can use a bar. Um, otherwise you're going to use a dumbbell, kettlebell or a, a, a backpack. I'm going to show you that now. So just say this is the actual movement I'll show you the PVC part. Go to day 11, like I said, we're going to build on what we've done there. We did the, the squat clean, and we did a push press or a push jerk. So all we're doing now is we're building on that, and we're going from here, full squat, overhead press. Okay, so that's a thruster. Straight legs, like your push press at the top. Okay, so from here, I'm going full squat, all my fingers on the bar. Okay, crease of hip goes below the kneecap. When I get to my power position, like with the push press, I generate power, press it out, lock it out overhead. There's a straight line between my, the bar at my, at my wrist, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. Straight line over my body, overhead, not out here, over there, and that's the end position. Bottom position, crease of hip below the kneecap. Ah, sorry, I haven't warmed up properly yet. I'm a bit stiff and tight. So, crease of it just below the top of the kneecaps. Okay, so that's our thrusters. Um, we're going to review the movement and drill it and practice it 
shortly. Just to show you how you'd, you'd change it to a dumbbell, you can use two dumbbells or a single dumbbell. Obviously, it'll have to be quite a heavy dumbbell to get to the load. Uh, if you're going to go RX, okay, from the ground, shoulders, one, okay, back down, two, etc. Okay, kettlebell, same thing. If you've got a kettlebell, you can deadlift it up. Okay, clean it to the shoulder, and from here, same thing. Full squat, lock it out. Okay, full squat, lock it out. Make sure that kettlebell is sort of to the back, not sitting high up, otherwise you've got minimum press. Good position, so you're in a front rack position. Okay, hanging to the back of the shoulder. But most of you are not going to have that, so most of you are going to have a bag. So, um, if you can find a bag, even this bag is quite big, um, with a nice strong handle, you're going to put cans or whatever you can uh, in here to get to the set load. Um, and what you're going to do then, is you're going to clean it up to the shoulder, okay, so clean, you can use two hands, go to one, okay, and from here, you could do a single arm like this. Okay, so I'm going full squat, as I come up, press. And again, full squat, as I come up, jump and press. Okay, but it might be better for this one to actually stack it so you can grip the bag. So you can clean it to your shoulders, and you're gonna hold it. It's gonna be a little bit more awkward because it's bulky, it's an odd object, but from here, I can do thrusters here. And press over here, catch your back on my chest, in my front rack position, keeping my shoulders packed, tight back, don't run forward, retract those shoulders, and again, there. Okay, it's a little bit lighter, this, this. we're not doing true weights on the benchmark, so it'll be a little bit more doable with that. So that's going to be your substitution out there for pull-ups. If you don't have a bar, so you can do pull-ups. If you don't have a kip, you're gonna do strict pull-ups. There's a little bit of swinging, that's okay, but just watch your overarch your back. Um, focus ribs down, toes forward, to keep a good, tight position, like cheeks tight, okay? Um, on the strict pull-ups. But if you don't have pull-ups, or you don't have, can't do ring rows or some alternative like that, you can also do a jumping pull-up. Now, normally you can find a place to hang a towel over a branch or a rafter, um, somewhere, you're going to set the, the grip height to the middle of my forearm. So if I'm gripping there, it's the middle of my forearm, and what you're going to do now, you're going to do a jump and pull your chin over the bar, or over the grip height, over the top of your thumbs. Okay, again, middle of my forearm, grip at that height, jump and pull over my top of my hands. Okay, obviously you can use more legs, but try and pull decently hard, try not to just use the legs, try and use the arms in a pull-up. It'll save the legs on the thrusters as well. Um, if you can't do that, you're going to do um, burpees facing the bar or facing the implement that you're using. So what's important with the burpee, just say I've got a dumbbell, I'm going to, if you watch from the side, I can get back anyhow, so I can put my hands on the ground, so squat, touch, step back, step back, we review these a number of times from here, I'm going to get up. I prefer getting up, you can either jump up, like this, or you can step up. Okay, and then I'm going to do a two foot takeoff, land on the other side, turn around, and repeat. If you've got limitations of space, just do them lateral, jumping over sideways over the object. Make sure you jump over the object, and not around the object, like that. Okay, make sure you jump over the object. Okay. Um, Next, oh, for the scale version, you only have to step over the object. Turn around, repeat. Down to the ground, step over. Every time you cross over, it's one rep. Okay, so that does our, that's it for our burpees and our pull-ups. Um, on the warm-up, we did a moderate brisk walk to brisk walk into jog, running, depending on what your level is, for five minutes. We're going to do our usual movements, shoulders, okay, 10 to 15 backwards, 10 to 15 forwards, go look at the technique in all the previous ones, open, close, left uh, in diagonal, okay, hands up, hands down, 
10, 50 each of these, okay? We're going to do lying on our back, we're doing kicks left and right, okay? Bent knee or straight leg, and then on our belly, kicking over the back. So I'm lying on my tummy, kicking over the back, keeping my shoulders on the ground, ladies, protect your chest as needed. Okay, heel toe walking, or rocks, okay? Into some single unders, or jump claps, jump claps, jump claps, we did this yesterday. And then we're going to start warming up for our squats. Okay, our thrusters at least. We're going to go five to seven slow air squats. Hands nice and high. You guys know the technique, driving those knees out. Go review earlier workouts again, like I said. Um, from there, we're going to do a hold, press, don't hold. Get to the bottom, get nice and low, get those heels down. I'm tight here today. My heels are not on the ground. Folks, get them on the ground. If you need, you can hold them on the outside of your feet and then pull your weight down as you drive your knees out. Okay. Okay, 10 seconds or so there, two, two reps or two sets of that going into five to seven foster air squats. Okay, next, we're gonna go, if you need to go review the, the drills we did on, on the active break every day 11, we're gonna build on that. So you can get yourself a PVC pipe or a broomstick out the cupboard and we're just gonna review here quickly what we've done. We're gonna focus on the thruster. So let's go. Feet down on my hips, my chin, elbows pointed on the bar, big chest, straight back, head in neutral. I'm going to bring the bar to my knees, pause, one, two, three, clear those knees out the way. From there, drag to my pockets, one, two, three, stand tall, squeeze the glutes. Repeat that two more times. Next, we're going deads. Same movement, hitting those positions, having those points of performance. Okay, we're doing three of those. And another one. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to our hang power clean, okay? From this position, jumping, catching in this position, bar on the fingertips, elbows nice and high, and standing tall. Reset, repeat that two more times. Okay, from here, we're doing front squats. Okay, we did the squat cleans, day 12, I think it was, or, or day 10. Anyway, we did the drills there on day 11. So front squats, three to five of those. Next, we're gonna go two straight to our press. So we're gonna do strict press. So squeeze your butt cheeks tight, ribs down, take a breath, drop my elbows, chin goes in, and I press overhead like we did on day 11. Get as I pass the top of my head, head goes back to the middle. Okay, as I come down, head returns out the way, and I press, get my head back to the middle. Okay, not dropping my chin, just head back in the middle, chin up, neutral head position. Okay, I don't want to go around my head. Same with the thruster. So what we do now, we're going to combine those two movements, or first let's do push press from here. Review push press, butt cheeks tight, ribs down, take a breath, chin goes in, dip, drive, reset, take a breath. Okay, clearing that head. Next, we're going to combine those two movements. We're going to go full squat into that push press. Okay, that is your thruster. And again, you'll see full crease hip below the kneecap. As I get to the power position, I jump, straighten my legs and press overhead. Okay, back down. Okay, from the front. And again, my straight arms locked out overhead. Wrists are slightly back to keep counterbalance, that bar overhead over the wrist axis, shrugging hard over the back of my neck. Okay, you don't have to go back to the ground, it stays on the shoulders. Every time you rest, if you put it down to the ground, you can squat clean the first rep. So you can either pause and then start, otherwise, you can squat clean the first rep. Okay, obviously apply this technique to the backpack or whatever other implement you're going to be using. Okay, cool down, go review yesterday's stuff, we should have been hitting it, we're doing couch stretch. Okay, um, very quickly, couch stretch, there, this one. Okay, knee opposite shoulder, this one. Straight leg raise, 
30 seconds, 10 foot bumps. I'm doing the thoracic spine stretch over a pillow. I'm gonna grab an apparatus behind me. Say it's this dumbbell, a table leg, it doesn't matter. Bend the knees at 90, lift the butt, reach overhead, grab it, stretch my arms, stretch, shrug hard, drop my butt slowly down. Hold it there, hold it there. 20 to 30 seconds, lift the butt to stop the stretch and come out. Okay, um, last one, calf stretch in that position. Okay, like you guys know, and the only other one lying on your side or standing, holding onto something. We're going to have your knees together, ribs down, butt cheeks tight, side line quad stretch or standing. Okay, so remember two to three reps, 30 seconds each. Okay, enjoy this benchmark workout, guys. It's fun, it burns, it might leave you with a bit of frayed throat. Okay. It's called fire breathing, you might feel a bit of a burn in your throat. That's fine, you're okay. Um, have a blessed Easter Sunday if you're following this in real time. Otherwise, enjoy the training. God bless and follow us at Always Fit League and at NutriTech Fit. Thank you.